Ferrari has tested a new aerodynamic package at Fiorano, which will make its debut next week at Imola, and it seems like the results have been quite promising for the Maranello team. The car looks totally different, and while it does resemble some elements of the Red Bull RB20, a closer look does reveal that Ferrari has interpreted the design in its own unique way. With this in mind, what changes have Ferrari incorporated for the SF24 with its latest upgrade package? More importantly, are these upgrades enough for Ferrari to challenge Red Bull on a weekly basis? But before we get into the bigger part of this video, I just wanted to thank you all for sticking around and watching my videos. Your views, your comments, your likes, everything inspires us to keep creating and delivering the best content we can, and we are extremely thankful for your continued support. And if you are new here, go ahead and subscribe. We are close to 8k subscribers, and going past this landmark means a lot to me. Now let's get into this video. Ferrari started the 2024 season with an SF24, which was regarded as a conservative car, a base which hosted a conventional concept which opened up avenues for development for Enrico Cardile's technicians. The technical department back at Maranello wanted to make sure that they had chosen the right path for development alongside good track and simulated correlation. Since the initial filming day and pre-season testings, the feelings at Maranello have been positive. This prompted the Ferrari engineers to continue development in the wind tunnel, exploring different avenues for in-season development. And now, after months of working in the wind tunnel and other development facilities, a more extreme version of the SF24 seized the track. The upgraded 2.0 version of the SF24 at Fiorana sported a new underfloor, new side pods, revised bodywork, revised front and rear wings accompanied by various aerodynamic appendages around the cabin. At the front, we don't notice any immediately visible changes with the front wing, remaining unchanged from its debut. The car's nose seems to have been hollowed out underneath to increase airflow to the Venturi channels. Moving towards the centre of the car, the first significant differences with the SF24 seen up to Miami begin to appear. The first and obvious change we can observe is the new side pods configuration. Looking at some images of the upgraded SF24, courtesy of Formula Uno, we can clearly see that Ferrari have implemented the overbite style side pods inlet, a solution which follows the Red Bull RB20. The inlet of the side pods itself has adopted a mixed solution, with the upper lip much more extended than the lower one. Additionally, the vertical air intake has been integrated with the horizontal one to better feed the radiators of the SF24, ditching the S-duct for a design that aligns more towards the P-shaped radiator inlet of the Alpine. The size of the radiator inlets are larger than what Red Bull RB20 sports, so Ferrari is still playing safe when it comes to the car's cooling. This design is adopted by Ferrari to effectively increase the undercut region, strongly rectifying the pressure field in this area of the car. Generating higher pressure is decisive for generating greater amounts of outwash. Teams use the outwash effect to effectively clean the turbulence that is created by the rolling of the front tires to keep the internal dynamics as clean and uninterrupted as possible, thus boosting the aerodynamic package's consistency and efficiency. A very interesting modification is found in the area immediately adjacent to the halo, where a new aerodynamic profile makes its appearance. Up to the Miami Grand Prix, we saw a carbon portion connecting the halo to the side pods, but now the solution has radically changed. The solution we find now on the SF24 is entirely anchored to the upper part of the side pods, the shape is quite Cobra-esque and has the clear function of a vortex generator, with the upper end curved outwards. The task of this element is to guide the air over the downwash of the side pods and energize it. Ferrari also have made revisions to the mirror attachments, as the mirror supports have been elongated, most likely the team chasing small aerodynamic gains and also helps to manage the airflow above the side pods. Moving further back, we can find a modification linked to the one previously described. The engine cover has a new shape in the area, just behind the halo to accommodate the new larger air vent. To improve the extraction of hot air, the rear part where the Santander's sponsor's logo is present has been modified. A bulge has been created to the left of the S to accelerate the flow of hot air and direct it towards the rear with greater energy. Ferrari has made little aerodynamic revisions to the rear wing modifying the wingtips by making them more pointed and less rounded in terms of profiling. This revision increases the rear load by a few macro points without losing efficiency, a choice that was clearly inspired by the Mercedes design. Ferrari tipped to make a floor upgrade at Imola, 
but we are currently not exactly sure of what the upgraded floor looks like, as it was not visible from the pictures we have access to. So expect Ferrari to introduce a new underfloor specification at Imola to run the new aerodynamic package in sync. Furthermore, within this scenario, we cannot exclude the presence of further updates in the diffuser section to strengthen the car's rear end performance. But the more important question to answer is, are these developments enough in reality to improve the Ferrari car to a state where challenging Red Bull frequently becomes possible? Considering numbers from Bahrain to Miami, Ferrari's deficit to Red Bull in qualifying and the race has been 3 tenths and 4 tenths of a second respectively. Ferrari, with this Imola upgrade package, are expecting to gain just about 3 tenths of performance in qualifying trim, while expecting to make more strides on race trim. So Ferrari are confident in their upgrade package, with the gains they are expected to make simply because of the solid platform they are currently building upon. Although many F1 experts question the team's decision on going conservative with the early SF24, the setup changes have worked, giving the car enough performance to slot into the P2 spot. And these huge upgrades at Imola now put Ferrari in a position to challenge Red Bull consistently. When talking about this matter, Vasseur indicated that Red Bull have lost the edge they had on their rivals last season. Adding further ideas, Vasseur went on to say, What is true is that compared to one year ago, when we were able to do a good job and put everything together, we are there. Red Bull are not anymore in the comfort zone of last year, where it doesn't matter what happens and after lap 2, they were already in front. It is going to be a game changer when it comes to the management of the race. This is an opportunity for us, because if we are taking another small step, I think we will really be in a position to fight with Red Bull every single weekend. This is however not the way Red Bull are seeing things, as the Austrian team believes that their upgrades at Imola are going to be just enough to outpace their rivals. What this essentially means is the upgrades Red Bull are bringing to Imola must fail to an extent in order to have a successful and competitive season in 2024. And judging by the latest comments from Adrian Newey, who spoke about the RB20 of recent, there seems to be a slight possibility of this happening. When expressing his views on the RB20, Adrian Newey said, this car is the third evolution of the 2022 car under this rule set. We have one more year before the huge change in 2026, so we are always searching for little bits and pieces. The fundamental structure of the car has remained the same. But I mean, for instance, that there is one feature on the car that I'm not terribly happy with this year. And that is something that will either change later in the year or probably more likely will be re-altered for next year. Having had a first look at Ferrari's upgrades for Imola, what do you guys think? Can Ferrari on merit match Red Bull in terms of outright pace for race wins on a fair and square battle this season, starting from Imola? We are very much into your thoughts and perspectives in the comments section down below. And on your way down, don't forget to subscribe to the channel to get notified of our future uploads to keep yourselves up to date about the 2024 Formula One season.